Hello there, darling. Welcome to my crib. That was my Mariah moment, but honestly, it's me, Julissa. Come on in. Welcome to mi casa. So this is my house tour for right now. So house tour dot 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 because I wanted to show you how it looks now and maybe you can weigh in, help me decorate. Um, this is actually my first home in LA. I was living in an apartment for a while, you know, getting my coins right. And uh, it feels good to have this extra space. Um, so let's check it out. When you first come in, there's that little bit of a walkway that you saw and then this I guess would be considered the foyer or the entry room or space. So I guess, who's out there? I always have squirrels in this house. I gotta get used to that because when you come from apartment living, you naturally hear things, people stomping around, whatever, kids. But I was freaking out the first time I heard squirrels and coming from New York, I was like, yo, is that a rat? I was so petrified, but it's actually squirrels that run around mainly in the morning, so fun. I was thinking of doing an entry table. I really feel as if I should get rid of this. Weigh in, yay, yay. I mean, let me show you why I was thinking I should get rid of it. That's why. This is actually from my old place, so I was thinking of getting rid of this um, console table and switching out and doing an entry table so that it's kind of a grand moment when you finally come in the house. <gasps> Welcome for real now. You've actually made it through the door. This frame was on my old TV and I love it so much, I just have to figure out what to do with it. Ideas, drop a comment, I don't know, let me know. Because I love it so much and it's really heavy actually. It, it kind of is giving an art piece, but not really because there isn't anything in it. When you have um, Zoom meetings and stuff, like this bounces around and then I'll just casually be on my Zoom like, oh, that thing, no big deal, yeah, that. Mm -hmm. Gives it some texture and some something in the background. I like it, gotta figure out what to do with it. That I'm definitely getting rid of. However, my friends are thinking that I should keep it because, I don't know if you guys will catch it. Actually, drop a comment if you catch it. There's a little something special, apparently, to this console table. Personally, I think this looks like a dinosaur eating a letter. <laughs> I think that's why my friends want me to keep it, because of the letter it forms. Duh. That one's up for debate. I'm pretty over it, but maybe it can go in a different space in the house. Not sure yet. Drop a comment. We'll move on. Another reason why I loved this house is the openness, but also the nice crown moldings, just the details. The openness, I love the archways. So when you walk into this living space, it's nice and big and feels like I can actually entertain and fit some nice size furniture. I ordered a custom couch. This is my temporary one. And essentially what I have in mind, let me know what you guys think, is to have a small table here and then have the, the couch kind of be nice and grand and a moment. So it's gonna go all the way down and then it'll be in the form of a sectional and this will be the chase. So this is where I'll lounge. I love the windows so much because it also goes with the arches of the house. Um, so I think I wanna just add a lot more vibrant it's a fly. Add really beautiful, colorful flowers that I can actually keep alive, and I think that'll be really pretty with the windows not being covered. But would you cover the windows or not? Nah? I don't know, what do you think? Another reason why I really loved this house is because I have two fireplaces. This fireplace, uh, so beautiful, it actually works. It just makes the home feel warm in a space like this, even when it's not on. So with the grand fireplace, I was thinking of doing a grand plant in that corner. Like I said, I'm working on myself and I really feel like if I get a plant that's low maintenance, but like a really nice big one, it'll just give some extra flow and energy to the space. And they say that you're supposed to have real plants. You should never have fake plants in your home. 
So, if you're a plant mom, please let me know which plant I can put indoors that's nice and grand and will actually survive. I wanna know. So I have all that nice space outside, which I wanna do an adult slip and slide with some barbecue, maybe um, hanging lights, make it a vibe out there too, because it, it'll just be a continuation of entertaining. Moving on to this piece. This piece I got when I first moved to LA years ago at the Rose Bowl. Every first Sunday of the month at the Rose Bowl, they have a flea market. And this is one of the first pieces that I found. I actually painted over it the original color. I can't even remember what it was, but I was with my friend, Nikki Chu. She is an interior and product designer. And she was like, you gotta get this piece because of all the details. I honestly, during this move, I don't know where the knobs went, they got lost in the move. I actually want to sell this piece, but my friend Nikki is telling me I should hang on to it and just kind of refurbish it, paint it a different color. I think because this space is new, I just want everything to be new. I don't really have much attachment to the pieces and the furniture. So this one is still up for debate as well. And maybe when she comes over to finally do my office, which I will show you guys in a second, um, she can help me figure that out. Would you keep this? It's pretty heavy. It has beautiful details, but I'm just kind of in a space where I wanna do everything new. Moving along. Another space that I really love because again, the windows, um, and these doors. Oh, I fell in love with these doors. This is, I guess, considered the proper dining space. I love sitting here in the mornings and working. I'll literally bring my laptop from the office, the designated office, extra room, extra space um, that's supposed to be the office. I love bringing the mess over here and my laptop and just seeing people walk their dogs and in the morning, um, there's always this beautiful butterfly that visits me in the morning and then the birds will be chirping. I just feel like I'm in another world and I feel transported. The amount of light that comes in through here is so beautiful. This floor, everyone seems to love this floor. I think it's really cool, the design. As you can see, I'm not very good at maintaining it. Um, right now, I have my camping chairs out here because, like I said, it's a work in progress. I literally moved in and just have hit the ground running with balancing everything else that I have going on. But I'm about to finally dedicate the time to decorate and get this place together. This was just so nice to open, come out here, feel refreshed, and then just look up at the palm trees. It really makes you feel like you're in a little, your own oasis, if you will. So I got these lemon trees that I'm hoping will have a lemon at some point. I don't know, that looks a little dry. I forgot how many times I'm supposed to water that. Like I said, I'm working on this. Now we're gonna make our way over to what is my temporary office, slash extra space, slash Liz Maris's room when she's here. When you come this way, oh, this is like, <laughs> you'll see why. It is a hot mess. This is the room that I'm hoping and praying my dear friend, Nikki Chu, is gonna come and decorate, AKA my office. Right now, this is the headquarters for Republica. You can see the signs. I also shoot content in here. I fulfill like orders when they come in. Literally, this is the logistics of, you see it right there. So this space is unboxing as well. If you guys wanna take a look at that, you wanna, you wanna be an influencer? Get ready to have a mess. Headquarters of Republica. So this is the space that I really hope Nikki will transform. Does anyone else's home office space look like this? Let me know, comment below, is it a hot mess? Are you having to work out of whatever space you can for the time being? Because this is literally what it is. And honestly, life of an influencer, like hashtag unboxing everywhere. It gets a little overwhelming, but listen, I'm never gonna turn down some free stuff now, so. So this is a mini beauty fridge and I keep masks and things up in here. Gua sha vibes. It feels so good, it's nice and cold. And then I have, as you can see, makeup upon makeup. I've got literally JFK baggage claim over here. This is this room. This is a bathroom. It's nice, I guess. 
Moving on. Obviously, I'm showing you this house when it's not done in the hopes that all of you can tell me what the heck to do. I don't know, leave me a comment. Maybe you can help me figure it out. Anyway, we're gonna go into the, the master. You can't say that. The primary room, Julie, the primary room. We're gonna go into the primary room. So this room is really nice. It's got a little skylight. Um, his and hers, or hers and hers. In this case, I like that it has a bath and a shower, stand-up shower. Ooh, okay, hello. Uh, well, I was contemplating which hair to put in today, so this one was was a vibe. I just clearly went with this one. But are we feeling the two-tone? Cause um, that's a look. You might or might not be getting a little sneak peek into what else I'm working on. She cute though, she cute. So she's gonna hang here. There's so much natural light in this house and I was just drawn to it. I said, I feel light, which is great. Another favorite thing about this room is, uh, well, okay, can I just mention the more space you upgrade to, the kind of more of a mess you have to make, like more room for a mess. That's kind of what's happening here, so. This is where I lay out some outfits whenever I have to shoot, whenever I have to style myself, whenever I'm shooting content. Um, one moment for the shoes though, hang on. These shoes need a moment, I mean, hello. I got these in Paris and I feel like I got them before anyone in the US, at least anyone in the US I saw had them. So these are definitely a vibe. And then you know, I have to get the matching bag. F is for fashion. This is, I guess, a preview of my closet. My closet is not ready yet. It is a hot mess up in there. My girl Tasha is gonna come over. She has a company called The Editor LLC and they literally edit any space. And if you want a spice cabinet to be organized with labels and proper and all that stuff, that's what she'll do. She can edit literally any space in your house. Another favorite thing about this room is this fireplace. This beautiful marble fireplace that still works. This is actually Nikki Chu, the one that, uh, my friend that's gonna decorate my office. She did this painting. These are housewarming gifts that I got. Talk about friends that are, um, you know, elevated. Ooh, this one's so heavy. Some crystals. So my friend Lisa got me this crystal and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's supposed to bring, dang, it came with a card and it tells me what the crystal does. Do you guys know what this crystal does? I think it's amethyst. It's energy. Great flowing energy, I think is what it was, to bless the new space. It's so heavy. I don't know where they chiseled this from, but dang, it's heavy. So, ow, that's that. And then I also had another friend, see my friends be on some wavelengths, because then I got this one. And when I first got it, I thought it was amber, but it's not. This one is, this one is another one I have to look up. Um, I forgot what this one does. I'm so mad because I literally knew I was gonna shoot this and show you guys these crystals and then I now forgot what um, they each are good for. But you're apparently supposed to charge them when it's a full moon or when it's really sunny outside, you put them out and it's supposed to vibrate the energy or you can just, I don't know, whatever. All I'm saying is don't try it. This is the only real thing that I want to keep from my last place is my bed. I do want to get a nice huge area rug just to define the space. When it's nice and cool at night and before I go to bed, if I want to set the vibe, um, I just open this door up and it leads to this shared area and this space and you get such a nice breeze so I can chill here and I don't know, it just makes me feel like, wow girl, you doing some things. I like that and it gets so much natural lighting. When I first moved in and before these blinds were up, whoo, talk about wake your ass up. It was like, boom, good morning. Let's move on to another favorite place in this house for me is the kitchen. When you come in here, it also feels great and an extension of the home in the sense of entertaining. There's so much history in this kitchen too. It's a custom made kitchen. I love the crown moldings that have continued throughout the house and even into the kitchen. I feel like I don't really see that that often. The wood cutout designs. 
This tile that they chose, I think is really beautiful. I mean, hello, a nice white Viking oven kind of a vibe. This kitchen, I would tell you who it was custom made for, but I don't think I can clear that. Basically, this is commemorating that the kitchen was custom made for her, a literal icon. And I said, yes, I want this house. For a person that just started drinking coffee, I get a lot of good mugs. I went to Qatar, I have mugs. Moving on. Okay, another thing this kitchen does double duty for is, it's my packing station. I mean, when you're a small business, this is, <laughs> this is literally, your, your business is kind of everywhere around your house. So I will stand here and I'll get the shipper box, stamp of approval right here, do that. And then I'll close it up and you know it's ready to go when you have the official stamp on the order. And there it is, from my home to yours. And then we have this nice fridge, a double door French door. Stainless steel French stain, door. A double door French door stainless steel. Girl, no, okay. <laughs> what is it? A stainless steel French door situation. Okay, stainless steel French door Ooh, situation. Where else would I house all these low calorie alcoholic drinks that I like to keep? And apparently a lot of mushrooms. So once upon a time when I was trying to be a vegan, I feel like mushrooms, they have a good texture to substitute for meat. So I would make mushroom tacos, mushroom, mushroom everything. I just grew such a love for mushrooms, but I mean, I, that's a lot. So alcohol, drinks, that is alcohol. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait, that's the same thing you just said. Minced garlic. <laughs> Caminos, if you know, you know. Freezer down here and you slide. Um, you gotta have an ice cream cake handy, you know? You just never know when, when you need that craving. A little more alcohol. <laughs> I love, I'm obsessed with these ice cubes. Not only do I just use them to wake up and put them on my face, but this makes me feel grown. Whenever I have somebody over and I'm like, how do you want your drink? One cube? I got you. It's the little things that excite me. Give me some ideas. I would love to know what you would do with the space. And when I'm ready to go to bed, I say buenas noche. And voila. And now that I've touched everything, let me polish up these hands. You know the drill. Subscribe, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. And hopefully next time when I see you, there'll be some more furniture up in this house. Coming up, the hangover I'm about to have, and no, I'm kidding. Pretty much good night. <laughs>